All right, so ladies and gentlemen, if I'm asking you, here's 15 degrees, and I want to be able to evaluate it, we talked about using the sum and difference, right? I could definitely use the difference for this, right? I could do like 60 degrees and then minus 45 degrees, right? So you could do a difference if I want to do sine cosine. But I might also ask you, hey, give me that example as far as using the half angle formulas. And what the half angle formula is saying, and let's stay, let's do the cosine of, yeah, u divided by 2. So if I take my angle and divide it by 2, then that's going to equal the plus or minus 1, I forgot the, the um, 1 plus cosine of u. 1 plus cosine of u divided by 2. So if I want to evaluate for 15 degrees, please note this is my angle that has already been cut in half. I can't evaluate sine, cosine, and tangent for 15 degrees, right? So don't plug 15 degrees in for your u. This is u divided by 2. Okay. So therefore, if I say, I can say cosine of 15 degrees, which is u divided by 2, is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine of 30 degrees divided by 2. Do you see when I evaluate, all I'm simply doing is just multiplying it by 2? Because that's the formula. If it's u, cosine of u divided by 2 equals cosine of u, right? So cosine of 15 degrees is 30. I'm just doubling it, all right? The basic, biggest mistake is students will write 15 degrees in here. No, that's 15 degrees, which is u divided by 2, which equals double that angle. Yes? Well, this is, it, this is that angle divided by 2. So you just multiply it by 2 right, to get you back to the, the actual angle we can evaluate for. So now, let's just go ahead and evaluate this um, cosine u of 2. So now let's just go and figure out where cosine equals 30 degrees. So cosine at 30 degrees, we already did, which was what? 1, well, one, half. one half, right? Cosine at 30. No, 30 degrees at 60 degrees. Cosine is going to be square root of 3 over 2, right? right? So therefore, we have plus or minus. 1 plus the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 2. Now, again, guys, we have a fraction, right? Stupid, stupid fractions. We have to add 1 plus the square root of 3 over 2. So I can say 1 plus the square root of 3 over 2. Again, multiply. Actually, you know what? Um, actually, what you don't need to add them up. Another thing you guys could do is just multiply everything by 2. If you multiply everything on the top, and if you're going to multiply on the top by 2, you have to multiply the bottom by 2, correct? OK. So if I multiply across by 2 over 2, what I now obtain is plus, you could do it that way too, but now what I obtain is going to be 2 plus the square root of 3 over 4. OK? And then remember, guys, if I say the square root of 16 over um, 9, that's equal to the square root of 16 over the square root of 9. OK? The radical distributes amongst division. So therefore, I can rewrite this. I can't take the square root of 2 plus 3. That's an expression broken up by addition or subtraction. You can't distribute. However, I can take the square root of 4, right? So my final answer would be equals plus or minus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 divided by 2. Or you could write that as times 1 half 2. But. OK. That's it.